Hey everyone, it's Cheryl here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another craft with me and I made this really really cute um, tassel charm, bead charm thing and I think it's adorable. Um, I made these last year um, and they looked like like this. Um, I didn't have many like beads and charms back then um, but yeah I wanted to make some more because I just love using them and gifting them to my friends or like attaching them to a project and as you can see I only have one left I really needed some more um, embroidery thread because um, that's what I use for these tassels and I just got 50 of them from Aliexpress so I can make a lot of tassels um, and these are just some random pom-pom tassels I made. I wanted to craft one on camera with you today. So I've got all of my like tools and accessories around me. Um, so let's start with the tassel. Um, these charms, I will, I will be using them at the end. Um, but yeah, so let me try to organize myself here. It's quite messy. So I got this giant pack of 50 of these embroidery thread um, things from Aliexpress recently. And I can make 50 tassel charms now <laughs> if I want to. So I'll show you how I made this one. Um, so what I normally do is I cut a little bit like I remove a little bit from this this thing um, just cut it because I want to use this one of these ends to feed them through all of my beads um, rather than using anything else and I think having the same color on there looks cool I used to use this gold metallic thread to do that but that rips really easily and I've had a lot of accidents where my entire like bead charm thingy just ripped and I had beads everywhere. So I don't want that to happen again. So I'm just going to tie this around here, making sure that both like loop ends are like kind of aligned like this. Because uh, this will be our tassel. And I'm gonna do a double knot just to be sure. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna try to see which side's longer, which is this one here. And I will try to feed this into my little, oh no. <laughs> uh, this wasn't supposed to happen. There's always something that goes wrong when I'm on camera. Um, every single time. It was so easy to do this off camera um, and as soon as I'm filming something is going wrong. Oh my goodness. So I'm sure I can still use this. So I'm gonna try to feed this into my little needle and I just get these. I actually got these from the supermarket. Um, they come in all different sizes. So let's see if I can do this on camera. I probably can't. I actually just broke one of these so I hope that doesn't happen again <laughs> so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna take my tool thing and just pull it there you go because I didn't do that with my last one and these tiny little metal bits just um, um, you know broke so don't want that to happen again just gonna get this bit out of there. Okay, that's it for that tool. Thank you. And now I'm going to feed all of my beads through this little bit here. So I've got, let me put that inside. Um, I've got a couple of beads in here. And um, these are all from Hobbycraft. And I'm almost out of these. Like, like, these are some of my favorite beads. Look how pretty these are. Um, but yeah, I can't get to Hobbycraft at the moment because we're still in lockdown. So I'm just going to use all of these beads that I've been holding recently. 
Um, I'm just thinking, do I want any other colors in there? We've got some like pearly ones here. I think I'm gonna grab some of those. Just leave them in here. Maybe some of these ones here. Oh, can't even see it, sorry. So that, just the pretty ones, you know, my usual colors. Pinks and purples. Those are pretty. And some gold ones. And I will use most of them from this one, from this little container. Oops, sorry about all of this noise. So I'm going to start with, um, I used the big one on the bottom here. I think I want to use one of these like lilac ones. And all I'm going to do is feed these beads through this bit of thread and just yeah add as many as i want um i think now i want something gold i've got these tiny little square gold ones love them and i'm almost out i'm so sad and you can't order these online so i cannot wait to go back to hobbycraft i'm gonna add one of these ones this is the fun bit like i really enjoy doing this very relaxing i think i want a bigger one now i think i'm gonna use one of these like disco ball ones purple one now this one here actually no i want something gold no i want this one and then one of these really really cute gold stars oh i love them um i'm just gonna check how many i've got on here do I want some more? Sorry, this is kind of like turning around. Um, what else do I want? I think I want this one. This shiny one. Sorry if you can't see it properly. My hands are probably covering everything. I've never done like a small project like this before on camera. Um, this one, and I think that's it. Yeah, I, I don't want too many on here. So now... I'm going to use a tiny little um, jump ring, one of these really small ones. And I'm just going to feed this through that jump ring. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of these beads again, all the way down here, through this tassel bit, and then I will tie a knot on the other side. So let me actually move this a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing so I'm just feeding this through all of these beads like this this is so hard to do on camera because I want to make sure that I'm in focus and then you can actually see what I'm doing but I also want to do it properly so this is quite hard Okay, I hope you saw what I was doing there. Right, um, I just need to pull this a little bit because it's not very tight. Here we go. So I've got them on here now, and now I can t I can use that other long bit that I've still got left and tie a knot like here. And I'm gonna do like a double knot again. I love making these; it's so relaxing, like when you don't have to film, um, especially when you're like watching a movie. Right, I'm gonna do like a triple knot because I wanna make sure that this doesn't come apart. So now that's done. I don't need my needle anymore. So we've got this little charm here. So now I'm gonna make the actual tassel. And I will just use this gold um, metallic thread because um, I think that looks really, really cute. And we've used 
a couple of gold beads and that jump ring is gold so I thought it would just um yeah look really nice on this project and um I've seen a lot of people make these um like charms like tassel like bead charm thingies um but I've also had a couple of people asking me to show them how I made mine so I thought I'll just um film a craft with me I'm not sure who came up with this um I have no idea and um but yeah I'm just gonna wrap this gold thread around the top corner of my tassel just like that and then I will tie a couple of knots quite a few actually because I don't want this to fall apart does that happen to me before and I think these are just so so cute to um, add to like the side of a mini album a tag flip Gift it to your pen pals. Um, my mom actually grabbed one of these and put it on her keyring, which is really cute. Like she was over last year and she saw them and she was like, "Oh my god, I really want one!" So I gave her one and it's now on her um, on her keys, which is really, really, really nice. So that's what this looks like. It's already super cute. So now what I'll do is I will um, cut one of these loops here. all of them, at least the ones I can find. Well, I think I got them all, it doesn't matter. But now I will cut this, cut this off. So we've got a very straight line there. And it doesn't matter how much you cut off, it just depends on your preference. Um, depends on how long you want your tassel to be so what i'll do is i'll just move this around until i'm happy with all of the sides see some bits are still a bit longer and it helps if you have really really sharp scissors my scissors are full of sticky bits and i should really clean them but i'm too lazy it doesn't even cut properly Oh. Right, just a few more bits here. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not even sure if I'm in frame or not. Um, I think that looks good. I'll just get rid of this stuff. Because otherwise this will go everywhere. And now um, I'm going to add a little charm on the side. So I've got these little like charm like connector bits i got them from ebay a while ago and this is all i've got left so i have to place another order soon um sorry i also need one of these lobster clasps and now i can decide on what i want on my um my dangly charm bit i think i definitely want to use a wire wrap bead Oh, doesn't this look amazing? I feel like I have to wrap some more beads because I'm about to run out, even though I've got like hundreds of them in here. Um, what color do I want to use? Um, some I want to use a color I don't have on there yet. Maybe this one, it's like this pearly one with a bead cap, and I think that's really cute. So I'll use that. And I'm just going to try to get these beads on there. Well, this is going to be very hard filming and I have no idea if my phone is going to focus on this now. Yeah, we'll give it a try. Um, so I'm just going to open this. Get my jump ring, my, my bead in there and then just close this again didn't do it properly okay so that's that's done and now I'm gonna decide on what charms I want to have on this um, thingy so I've got all of these pretty charms from Aliexpress and also these these two here um, I used a 
Paige Evans like heart on this one here and I think that's super adorable so I think I'm gonna use one of these Maggie Holmes ones probably this little polka dot one that's very very cute and this is just from the day-to-day -day, um, planner collection sorry I think you can hear some thunder out there it's like the end of the world today it's June and there's just so much rain and thunder it's awful I think I'm going to use one of these purple bows that I got from Aliexpress because I've got some purple beads in here I think that's going to be very cute isn't this like the smallest little um like clear baggie you've ever seen so tiny um I'm waiting for more charms to come in and then I will organize all of these I can't wait but for now they're just living in that little um bowl so I'm just going to try to arrange these so I think I want this to be around here so what I'm gonna do is oh I don't even know if you can see that I'm just gonna grab this bit and attach my little Maggie Holmes charm into that little thing like what are these called like chain connector thingies I'm not sure just like that here we go and then I'm going to do the same thing with this bow and I think I wanted this bow to be on this fourth little little thing so I'm just trying to find the opening Sorry, my tool looks very very ugly <laughs> i've had this for years never actually used it until like last year all right let's see what that looks like oh, it's like always spinning around oh isn't that adorable so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open this last connector bit um and i'm going to have my lobster clasp in there oh sorry I wasn't near the camera just like that and I'm also going to use my um tassel charm thing let's close this up and that's it there we go that's another one done um what I did with this one I have these little bows that I recently found in my stash and they are so cute. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to um, attach a little bow to the tassel. Let me, let me try to find a pretty one. Sorry. My desk is so messy again. <laughs> like I organize it. As soon, as soon as I'm done crafting, I organize my desk and it looks so clean. And 10 minutes later, it looks like um, a whole mess again. So let me try to find a pretty side, like this side here. So I've got my amazing fabric tag here. Oh my God, I love this stuff. Um, this was recommended by Carolina and Erica, Scrub Diva 29, and this stuff is so good. So I'm just gonna glue this little bow on there because I think that will look very, very cute. This stuff smells really, really bad, but it's so good. No more hot glue. <laughs> no more hot glue burns, I should say. But yeah, that's it. Isn't that so, so cute? And you can just attach this lobster clasp to anything. And oh my God, I just love how this one turned out. It's so cute. I love the purple beads. And these charms they're just so cute so um yeah let me just grab the other one so we can have it next to this one and they are just such dainty little charms and they look so adorable and i also really love this color of um embroidery thread i got from aliexpress i thought it was a light pink 
like the ones I used to have. Um, but I actually really, really, really like this color. It's like a nice barley pink. Let me know what you think if you like these little charms. And um, yeah, we'll make some more now off camera because I want to stock up on them so I can give them to some of my pen pals and use them myself as well. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you would. It would mean a lot to me and I um, post a lot of crafty videos, especially now during lockdown, since I've got a lot of free time. And yeah, I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!